Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Today I have a duck. I have a Joe Tissery. So we are going to cook a duck on the Joe Tissery. Let's get started. First thing I want to do is make a marinade for this duck. So I'm going to start in a mixing bowl here. I've got one onion that I've coarsely chopped. I've got six cloves of garlic that I've just smashed open. You can leave the paper on those. I've got two cups of a dry red wine, one half of a cup of soy sauce, one quarter of a cup of red wine vinegar, one quarter of a cup of vegetable oil. And that's going to be our marinade, so let's get the duck out. Okay, I've got a seven pound duck here that I have taken out of the packaging, I've rinsed it off, and I've gotten this guy ready to go. What we're going to do is put it in a Ziploc bag or a vacuum seal bag in my case, and uh, we're going to dump that marinade in, and we're going to seal it up and let this guy marinate overnight. Okay, I've got this guy in a vacuum seal bag and got as much of the air out of it as I can, so it's not completely tight, but what I'm going to do is, is every a couple of hours, uh, when I'm able to, we're just going to flip the bag over to make sure that this guy gets a good even marinade. We're going to let this go. You need to let this go a minimum of six hours, but you can let it go up to 24. So we'll be back tomorrow to take this guy out. Then we're going to truss it up, season it, and throw it on the grill. Okay, guys, I've taken my duck out of the marinade. I've rinsed it off, and I've patted it dry as best I can. And I've gone ahead and put it on the spit with the forks, and I've trussed it up a little bit to try to help keep it together and I've scored the skin with a little bit of a diamond pattern on the breast and on the back side to help some of this fat drain from this as it cooks and I've put some charcoal in the Big Joe we're going to use the Big Joe today I'm letting it heat up and then we're going to take this to the grill momentarily okay I've got the Big Joe fired up here I've got the firebox divider in place I've got all of my charcoal on the back half here and I'm still trying to keep it raked up to the back because a duck drips a lot of grease and we don't want too terribly much of it dripping directly on the fire. So let's put this guy on the spit. Okay, I'm just going to load this guy straight on here. And we'll get it in place and we'll start it turning. And I'm going to close the lid here and after it's been turning for just a few minutes, I'm going to come back and we're going to salt this duck, salt the outer skin, so we'll be back momentarily. Okay, we've been cooking here for just a few minutes, not quite 10 minutes yet, so I'm going to open this up. We're going to get some salt on this bird. Okay. Give that just a little bit more, and we'll just let it continue to cook. Okay, guys, we've been going about an hour and ten minutes here. This thing's starting to look pretty good, so I'm going to check the temperature uh, when it comes back around to the breast side. I'm looking for about 130, 135 degrees in the thick part of the breast here. Let's see where we are. We're about 125, 126 on that side. About 125 there, and in the and in the leg, we want to be higher, and it's it's up about 160. So we're gonna let this go for maybe 10 more minutes, and we're gonna be right there. Okay, guys, we've been going right at an hour and a half here. This duck is ready. It's beautiful looking. Look at that. It just looks amazing. It smells amazing. So I'm going to take it off the grill. We're going to take it inside. I'm going to tin it in foil. We're going to rest it for about 20 minutes and then we're going to have a look at it a little closer. Okay guys, I've let that rest and I've gone ahead and taken a leg and a breast off of this duck. So I'm going to slice some pieces of this and we're going to have a taste, man. This thing smells amazing. That, uh, marinade that I used on this has a wonderful aroma to it with the red wine and uh, just look at how tender and juicy that duck is that is amazing let's have a taste of this alright guys let's have a taste of that duck 
Guys, that's absolutely beautiful. That's one of the juiciest pieces of duck I've ever had. The flavor is amazing. It's a real simple process to make this. And I know you're going to ask, on the rotisserie, I cook mostly with the lid closed. And I was running a dome temperature of anywhere between 300 and 350 degrees. It was kind of moving around for that hour and a half. Uh, I don't pay very close attention to the dome temperature when I'm cooking over the rotisserie. I just want to have a nice hot fire uh, underneath uh, one half of that, or depending on what I'm cooking, maybe all the way across the base. Uh, for duck, I didn't want a whole lot of dripping uh, going directly onto the fire because the duck does drip a lot more fat. Uh, this is not like a chicken or a turkey. Uh, there's a lot of fat coming out of a duck, but a lot of that fat renders out. That's why we score the skin before we cook it. So give this a try. Let me know what you think. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Kamado Joe. Follow us on Twitter at Kamado Joe. And until next time, this is John Setzler with Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.